All right, Aaron, we do not want to hear anything about sub freezing temperatures. We're not ready for that. We would just like fall to arrive. And it will uh, later this weekend. Be prepared for it next week. But we're still kind of in the midst of Texas September summer. That's what I like to call it. Uh, we have mid and upper 70s for North Texas right now. We're going to top out at 88 degrees this afternoon. So we're warming back up. Uh, sunny skies expected. Uh, it's going to be beautiful for that football forecast tonight, albeit a little warm for mid October standards. Kick off temperatures at about 82 degrees. I think halftime we're looking at temperatures in the mid 70s, but clear skies, winds out of the southwest at about 5 to 15 miles an hour. But we are still expecting that big temperature drop. Tomorrow we're going to get up to 92, but Sunday, our first alert weather day, because we've got a strong cold front swinging through. A high of 76. We may only be in the low 70s in the afternoon, though. We've got a high of 70 on Monday, a high of 65 on Tuesday. You're going to have to wait and see just how cool it might get as we get into Wednesday of next week. But this is coming with rain chances as well. So we're alerting you to the fact that we've got this huge cool down on the way. But we also want you to be prepared for the rain as well. Coverage is at 70% on Sunday, down to about 30% on Monday. So I really think Sunday is kind of the wet day. Uh, and we will watch for maybe some gustier winds with these storms. Let me show you. So. Saturday, we start out with some clouds to the west. I do expect an increase in clouds as we get into the afternoon, but don't be alarmed. I think you'll be okay. Uh, dry weather is expected through Saturday afternoon and into the evening as well. Once we get past midnight, though, that cold front is approaching quickly, and it starts to make its way into North Texas Sunday morning. So uh, these storms that are kind of ahead of this front, this is where I think we would have to watch, not just for some of the heaviest rain, but for some gusty winds as well. So uh, that's something that we're going to watch, I think, in that 7 to 10 a.m. time frame. Anything ahead of the front has the possibility of being a little bit stronger. Once you see this rain behind the front, post frontal rain, it's just rain. It's going to be nuisance rain. There will be some heavy rain at times, but I think we'll be okay. We need the rainfall at this point. It's going to be cooling down. It's kind of coming to an end as we go overnight and into Monday morning. We're going to leave rain chances in Monday morning at about 30%, mainly to the south of I-20. So much needed rainfall. The models are starting to back off on the overall totals, but we'll take what we can get. Now look at the temperature forecast. Uh, Monday afternoon, upper 60s and low 70s at best. Tuesday morning, this is just one model, but showing upper 40s and low 50s. Tuesday afternoon, barely getting to 60 degrees. Wednesday morning, uh, low 40s, maybe even some 30s. I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just the messenger, Karen, okay? We're not actually going with the 30s for Wednesday morning, going with a low of 42, but I think, you know, maybe a little bit closer to the Red River, not out of the question that we could see some 30s. Wow, okay, it's the time of year. Aaron, thank you. <laughs>